Hello and welcome. Uh, on my previous video, I did say I was going to make something with envelopes, so this is going to be my like my project. It's going to be like an envelope bookly. That's so cute. And all we need to get started is four envelopes. Now I use my envelope punch board, and I made them four by six. I went to the card uh, the card size uh, the card size four by six. So you have to cut them bigger, obviously, and then. So I made all them. Now what's I've done three. Now what you got to do is put ribbon around the bottom of them, like so. Now I'll show you. All I've got is a piece of ribbon. Let's find the centre. Place it at the bottom of my envelope ready for when keep that there and then just glue as normal okay let's just get the, the center again okay there just keep it at the bottom and then that's it. All you gotta do is make them up as normal, just put a piece of ribbon at the bottom. Hold it down. Oh sorry, I'm not shaking you again. So I'll see that. You've got the ribbon coming out the bottom. Now I've made four of them. Like so. There we go. What I have done as well is, when I've made my envelopes, I've just cut that bit off there so they're coming all the way up here, so you can actually, I think they look better like that. So we've got all them done, I prepared earlier. Now we need a piece that's 11 and a half by seven, right? Score at five and a half, turn around, Score again at five and a half. So you should have a little half, half inch spine then. And all together. The same size. Okay? Now what I'm going to do is just cut the corners off. Of my book cover. Right. Let's get rid of this. I mean, once you've done your envelopes, it's so easy. I did have trouble doing envelopes, but I did watch a tutorial. And once you get the hang of it, you get the hang of it, darling. You? It's so much easier now. I just think it's something new, ain't But uh, I watched um, I watched a lady on uh, a channel. It's a deal. It's such it's brilliant. Such a lovely lady. And I seen uh, somebody sent her like a little pack to do it herself, but with her cover she had a plastic cover and she had to put um sequins in it to make a shake like and sew the top of it but i've just done a, pa uh, a paper one but i will leave it the it's a deals um link at the bottom now all i'm going to do is the spine i've got my envelopes here just measure up where in the middle and then i'm just going to measure up where i need my hole punches so I'm just going to go there and the same on the other side, try and make it the same there. Now I've got my hole punch here, so I will hole there, hole there. So we've got two holes, okay. Keep, make sure you go the right way up. <laughs> yeah, just I'll put them. I'll put them like that. So make sure you got all your envelopes the way you want them to be, and then place them on. And then you need to feed all these through your hole. Now, 
and the top bit. Am I going to be able to do that in one or one? Shall I try? Woo! Did as well. Alright then. Now you want to get them measured up. I am running out of cardstock, so I've just got them measured like that. Now all I'm going to do is tie a little bow in the middle. She says. <laughs> there we go. And there we have it. We got our little envelope bubbly you can put die cuts uh, ephemera uh, gems and it's just a nice way to package it and send it off i think it's beautiful now what i did was as well where am i i'll tell you i did one earlier well i did one the other day when I was doing, messing about with envelopes, the other little envelopes, I've done this one. Now I made this thicker. I had cardstock um, and I put some more um, DSP on top, design series paper. Now I had a, a sheet that was like patterned at the top and patterned at the bottom. So all I did is cut the bottom and then just fussy cut around the top and pull it on the, together. So it is a smaller version. You can't really tell how I fussy cutted it round. So that's what I did. I just uh, made it look pretty. I put them on my little envelopes. I've done a little um, paper clip as well. How cute's that? Really good flowers. Uh, I just put a love on. I just used a bit of um, like a rope type. I put a tuck there with a little envelope there. And then I put an extra envelope there with a little tuck spot there as well. I can get it in. Okay. Now this is thinner because I am running out. I've run out of my nice paper, the nice colours of the, uh, not Ad Aldi, Lidl block paper. That is just fantastic paper. Try and get me some more of them. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is put a Velcro dot on each one. Right there. And then on all four of them, I'll just do the first one because I don't want to bore you. And then that's not doing. I'd wait for that to dry before you pull them apart. So that's what it's going to look like, like that. We say that thick, but it is only 12 of them, I suppose. It'd be better if you use thicker card for this bit. But... And then you can do pockets if you want. Just put a sheet there and shall I? I have got that. Extra paper. I could use that there. So what we're gonna do is measure. Measure five and a quarter. Just go over here. And then I'm just going to round that corner off there. I've come on that side. I've come even in front of me today because the shadow was even worse when I was up there. So all I'm going to do is just go around make a little border of glue round leaving the top bit open and then just placing that there. And then you've got the little pocket. To add a little envelope or 
a letter or something. So I just think it was a really cute idea. I mean, you can decorate it as you want. Put your Velcro dots on. You can put even the one that way. Like so I'm going to do that now. going to do that under, just under seven because that's the length of it. So I'm just going to do it just under seven, under six and three quarters. Now all you've got to do is make sure you follow your rounded corners as you do on there. And then again just put a bead of glue around. A line of glue, just leaving one side blank. And then just pop that on there. And there you got another little top spot. You got another little pocket to add something in. Like so. So we've got a little tuck spot there on the side and then we've got one here and you've got all your little envelopes to put things on you got to, and that's it there you know and then you can decorate it. So how cute is that? You've got all your pretty papered uh, envelopes. I just think it's nice because people, I often see people um, swapping a load of die cuts with each other. It's a nice way to store them as well and keep them safe in the post. And I just thought it was cute. And that was the other one. I will say, with this one, I had to be careful with the uh, oh, I had to be careful with the uh, envelopes when I was um, scoring them because I don't know what it, it was just kind of like ripping into them. But it was so bad with this one. But like I said, just be careful when you're scoring them, just to gently, because just, this paper seemed to uh, rip, rip a little bit, so. But it was my first one, and I, yeah, I'm waffling there. Okay, that's my little, um, now what I wanted to say is, um, crazy, craft, no, totally lost it, no. Crazy crafters, crazy crafties, crafties, crazy crafties. Oh my god, let me get my book. Oh my god. I'm just having a moment again. As you do when you're filming. Crazy crafties, that's the one. Now I'll leave this lady's link at the bottom because she's such a lovely lady and uh, I just want to do a big shout out to her. Go over and check her out. She does amazing projects and uh, she loves the polka doodles. Is it polka doodles? I think it is. And the, the things she creates with them and her colouring is fantastic. Uh, she does tutorials as well on uh, how she does uh, her colouring. It's fantastic. And she's just a lovely, lovely lady and she supports us all. So please go over and support Crazy Crafties. And she's called Trisha. So hello Trisha, thank you for your support on my channel. I'm just doing a quick shout out for you. And uh, I'll put this lady's link at the bottom, so please go over and check her out. And I hope everybody's fine. I hope you're all still sane. Uh, my daughter's birthday today. But uh, I said that's going to be riveting for her, right? But nothing you can do about it. you just got to crack on, carry on. And uh, I said to her, I said, it could be worse, Shannon. It could have been your 18th. That would have been gutting. But it's only 17, so... Yeah, um, I think that's it. I'm um, going on and on and on. So I'll let you all go and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.